Today's topic is, what is pelvic congestion syndrome? Pelvic congestion syndrome is a progressive disorder characterized by persistent, chronic pelvic pain for a period longer than six months, having unknown pelvic pathology. Pelvic congestion syndrome is very common in the age 20 to 50. However, it is not diagnosed in its early stage, and only 60% of the affected experience the symptoms. It affects women more compared to men, due to the complexity of the female pelvis. It has a number of vital organs like reproductive organs, bowel, and bladder. And just like every other organ, these organs too need a rich blood supply to carry out their vital functions. As we know, the arteries supply our organs with oxygenated blood from the heart, and veins are responsible to carry out the blood back to the heart. Just like varicose veins in legs, when valves present in the veins responsible for blood flow in the pelvic region get disturbed and the blood flows the wrong way, as a result, cause varicose veins in the pelvis. When the blood collected in these veins pressures the vital structures or organs in the pelvis area, it causes discomfort and pain. The affected veins could have a blockage or the valves that regulate the blood flow within the vein become disrupted. Because of that, gravity floods the pelvic veins with blood under pressure. The collected blood potentially causes pain from prolonged standing, during menstrual period, etc. This situation is termed as pelvic congestion syndrome. Pelvic congestion syndrome gives rise to different ailments occurring at different sites. Varicose veins in pelvis involves vagina. It can cause pain while having sexual intercourse and periods. When involving anus, it results into hemorrhoids. If they pressurize the bladder or bowel, it can lead to pain and discomfort in that area during mctertion or stool passage and irritable bowel syndrome. Causes of pelvic congestion syndrome in women 1. Pregnancy 2. Genetically transmitted 3. Compression of common iliac vein, Turner syndrome 4. Compression of left renal vein between superior mesenteric artery and aorta, nutcracker syndrome. Symptoms of pelvic congestion syndrome. Chronic pelvic pain that is pain for more than six months and accentuates before menses, a condition called dysmenorrhea, dyspareunia, that is, pain while having sexual intercourse, and postcoital aching, that means pain after having sexual intercourse. Dysseria, that means painful urination, or micturation. Stress incontinence worsens that results into involuntary leak of urine while sneezing, coughing, or laughing. Discomfort on prolonged standing and sitting. Pain in the back, leg varicose veins. Signs and symptoms of pelvic congestion syndrome in men. Chronic pelvic pain, pain in lower abdomen, back and hips. Scrotal varices, hemorrhoids, irritable bowel syndrome dysseria, and stress incontinence, erectile dysfunction. How to diagnose pelvic congestion syndrome? Abdominal and pelvic duplex ultrasound scan, internally. Transvaginal duplex is also another effective diagnostic tool. CT scan and MRI can also be done, but since they only show the size of the veins, the condition can be better known by performing internal duplex ultrasound. Treatment of Pelvic Congestion Syndrome A complete evaluation of the entire venous system is done to choose an adequate treatment methodology. In case of spider veins or swelling venous ulcers, sclerotherapy, laser treatment. In most advanced disease, in case the venous reflux in superficial veins of the affected part, the refluxing vein is closed through modalities while rerouting the blood through a healthy vein. Venous hypertension is treated with a stunt in the affected vein. Ovarian vein reflux is treated by the reflux vein shut. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.